I actually hitchhiked to Las Vegas in 1968, June 1968. My dad and I were following my mom and two sisters. They were in the U-Haul moving van uh, coming from Orange County to Las Vegas. And we got to the top of Halloran Summit outside of Baker in June in the heat of the summer and our car overheated so it blew a head gasket we pulled over to the side of the freeway and said well no cell phones no way to contact mom and the sisters so we stuck our thumbs out and hitchhiked into Las Vegas and that's how I first arrived. My dad always told me that I could be a lawyer I never believed it uh, I didn't think it was possible for me to do that. I actually wanted to be a school teacher and then a radio broadcaster. And so my dad said, no, you, you need to go to law school. You need, you need to become an attorney. And uh, so I did both. I, I was able to uh, get my undergraduate degree in broadcast journalism and then went on to law school. Uh, my first job was with Oscar Goodman, who at the time, in 1980, was the uh, mouthpiece for the mob. And uh, my first job was just up the road from our current office on 4th Street. And I got a number of offers from different law firms and government. But I thought the most interesting job would be to work uh, with the Goodman firm. And I really enjoyed my experience working on the civil side mostly. Uh, I couldn't wait to have my own practice, but I couldn't turn down the great opportunity to work with, with Oscar Goodman. So in 1982, I formed my own practice. My office was uh, uh, at the, what's called the Atrium Building over on uh, the 95 Expressway in Rancho. And I rented an executive suite. I basically answered my own phone. I stuffed my own letters. Uh, put on my own stamps and basically did everything myself for the first year until I was able to hire some help. And the rest uh, is just basically my solo practice getting out of hand almost 40 years later. I always wanted to be a personal injury attorney because I was a frustrated uh, wannabe doctor. I, I didn't have the, the background in undergraduate school with enough science and chemistry and math to be a doctor and go to med school. And so I was fascinated by personal injury because it dealt with obviously medicine and, and uh, anatomy and injuries and so forth. So I got the best of both worlds being a personal injury lawyer. I, I'm able to represent people who are hurt and at the same time understand, study, and uh, become very proficient in reading medical records and understanding the intricacies of, of uh, injuries, particularly spinal injuries and other types of serious injuries. So I really enjoy personal injury because I'm helping people. I don't send bills. I send people a check. Uh, one of the terrible things about being a lawyer is having to generate bills and uh, people want results and so the personal injury practice lends itself to the ability to not charge the client until we are successful in resolving the case. And so rather than send a bill, we send a check and that makes it gratifying for both of us that we only get paid if we win and we don't get paid until we win. <laughs>